Okay, in this video, we will solve an example repeated roots problem using heavy side method. So let's get started. So this is our problem, and if you notice, we have s plus 4 squared. It's squared, so it's going to be a repeated root. And so in order to solve this problem, it's slightly different than if it wasn't squared. And I'll show you what I mean. So we will split up into partial fractions. Um, we have three components here. So we have c1 divided by one term will be s plus 4 plus c2 divided by s plus 4 squared. Now we're splitting it up because this is a step that is involved whenever you have a repeated root. You do the whole component s plus 4 squared and then you also do the individual component. Also if this was s plus 4 cubed it would be cubed squared and then single. It would be s plus 4 cubed, s plus 4 squared, and then s plus 4. Here it's just squared, so that's why we're doing it like this. Plus, so we would have c3 divided by s plus 3, our third component. Okay, so once we have it like in this form, um, we will solve for c1, c2, and c3. Now I'm going to start out with c2. I will say that c2 is equal to, so s plus uh, 5 divided by. Now, I'm using c2, so I'm not going to copy s plus 4 squared. I'm going to copy s plus 3. So I'm going to copy s plus 3. And what I'm going to plug in is this value, the value that will make the denominator 0. And that's going to be s is equal to negative 4. Next, I will do c3. C3 is equal to, always copy the numerator, so S plus 5 divided by. So here I have S plus 3, and so the term that's not there will be S plus 4 squared. So S plus 4 squared, and then I will plug in the value to make this 0, so S is equal to negative 3. And now we will solve C1. Now C1 is a bit different, because this problem involves repeated roots. And in order to solve for C1, we will take the derivative. So d over ds of, so the numerator here is s plus 5, that's the same. And here instead I will put s plus 3. s plus 3, and ultimately I will plug in s is equal to negative 4. I'm plugging negative 4 because I, want, I still want this term to be 0. So let's take the derivative of this. So it's going to be the quotient rule. So we would get uh, s plus 3 times derivative of the top, so 1, minus the top, s plus 5, times the derivative of the bottom, so simply 1, divided by s plus 3 uh, squared, and I'm going to plug in s is equal to negative 4. So let's solve for all three of these pieces. So if I plug in negative 4 here, I get negative 4 plus 5 is 1. 1 divided by negative 4 plus 3 is also uh, negative 1. So 1 divided by negative 1 would give us negative 1. Next, uh, we plug in negative 3, so you get 2 for the top. And then this becomes 1, so 2 over 1 is 2. And finally, C1. So I plug in negative 4, I get negative 1 times 1 minus parentheses, so negative 4 plus 5 is 1 times 1 divided by, I plug in negative 4 here, I get negative 1 squared, so 1. So this is negative 1 minus 1, so negative 2, so we would get negative 2. And now we simply just plug it back into the original equation. So we plug in c1 here, c2 here, and c3 here. And so we will ultimately get negative 2 divided by s plus 4 minus 1 divided by parentheses s plus 4 squared plus 2 divided by s plus 3. And this right here would be our final answer. And that's all we need to do for this problem.